So I'm Trevor Neal, uh, I work at Leicester Fire Rescue Service in the driver training department. I'm a driving instructor teaching blue light driver training. We've picked up on um, a sort of trend from within road safety looking at uh, the use of virtual reality and replacing some of the, the methodologies that they've got. We looked at what we were currently teaching and some of the, the videos and we thought it would be a good idea to sort of see if we could blend that in and start to use virtual reality as well. So on this particular software version of the software there's 52 videos all cut into segments of up to two three minutes. What the software allows us to do is to have multiple headsets running simultaneously and in sync so it allows from a training perspective for us to start and stop the videos at the same time to pause the videos allow a trainer to communicate with the student. Martin Lemon, work for Leicester Cheer Fire and Rescue Service as a driving instructor teaching blue light response drives. I've been doing it for just over 12 years now. So looking at it now in a, in a VR point of view, in a classroom, we've got the opportunity to stop, pause, discuss and really get into a, a, a coaching environment before we go out on the road. It's going to bridge the gap between what, we, what we've done in the past and yeah, make, a, make a real difference. The beauty of the virtual reality is we can set the cameras up, we can drive until we get those scenarios and then we know we've got that one scenario that every trainee is getting, so it's a standardised approach, they're all getting it and again it's in that sterile environment. The system has a, a control interface within the cloud and that allows you to add more videos to it, allows you to view how many times the videos have been watched. The process now of being able to use a virtual reality is a more immersive world so it gets them involved in being able to experience those things but without the risk of being out on the road but also for us to be able to closer look at where it is that they're looking. The experiential learning is, is still there but it's in a safer, more controlled environment.